What's up everyone? Welcome back. This is Comically Boston episode 22 coming at you again. I know it's not Monday. It's a Friday. Friday the 13th, January 13th, 2023. Uh, this week we had some sports. Let's get into it for the Celtics. Monday night they faced the Bulls. Rob Williams back in the starting lineup. He looked He looked pretty good. Um, DeRozan left game with an injury. Levine had 27. We ended up winning 107-99. Um, improved to 29-12. and 12. Then JT had 32-8-7. JB had 19. Grant had 20-8. and 8. Grant had a great night. Uh, Wednesday night we faced the Pelicans. No Zion, I believe. No Zion. No Smart, no Williams, no Rob Williams for us. We ended up winning the game 125-114, proved 30-12. and 12. JB, Jalen Brown, had 41-12 rebounds, shooting 15 for 21 from the field. Season high for him, been dealing with a groin strain, unfortunately, so he did not play Thursday night, last night. Uh, JT had 31-10 and 10 rebounds. Brogdon had 20 off the bench. McCollum had 38. He was pretty much carrying the Pelicans team on his back. Um... Uh, n another time that the both of Jays have dropped 30 and 30. Um, I love to see both of them drop 30. It just, when they both are dropping bo um, a lot of points, the game just feels like it goes faster and like it just feels fun. You know what I mean? Thursday night we face the Nets. This is not one we want to lose because Kyrie's on the Nets and uh, him being a former Celtic. We don't want We don't want to see him win. Luckily, they haven't. In nine straight games... We pick up the dub versus the Nets. 109-98. We improved to 31 and 12. No JB, no KD in that game. Jason Tatum had 20, 11, and 5. Smart had 16, 10, 6, and 2 steals. Brogdon had 16. Derek White had 15. Grant had 12. Cornette had 11. Kyrie for the Nets had 24. Um, that was a pretty close game. Closer than I expected it to be, but it was a good team win. Good all-around team game. Still get a double-double for JT. Didn't play all that well, but still had 20 and 11. Good for that boy. Now, over this last week, we had an Ant-Man trailer drop. I'll let you guys see some of the stuff from that. Ant-Man. Right, so the new Ant-Man poster came out February 17th. That drops. Get your tickets. I'm sure those will be going on sale asapido. though. Um, <laughs> now, there's also a second one. Quantumania. I like this second poster a little bit better. The first one's just kind of eh. Or this one's just, I don't know. I, I like the colors, the purple. I like how it's got Kang in the background, all mysterious. Where the other one was like, you know, kind of had all the people and I don't know, that one's cool too. Both of them, those are cool. Now this is the image I really wanted to look at. The new image of Kang. Uh -huh. Kang the Conqueror. He looks great. Oof, what a stud. Jonathan Majors is going to slay that role along with any other role that he goes and plays. Um, there was also been, there was a rumor on Insta on Twitter the other day. I didn't want to, I don't necessarily talk about rumors, but I don't know. This one sounded interesting to me and I want to know what you guys think. Would you guys be interested in a Marvel Studios titled Strange Academy series centered around Wong featuring America Chavez? So... You saw at the end of Multiverse of Madness, she was kind of learning how to do the circles, you know, so she's trying to become a wizard. Maybe we'll see people like Ned from Spider-Man No Way Home. Maybe he'll be there too. Maybe the bull guy from uh, Spider-Man, or from Multiverse of Madness, you know. So, I don't know, that one's interesting to me. Let me know what you think. I definitely want to see more of America Chavez and Wong is Wong. So, gotta love that as well. And also last week for Disney... The Bad Batch season three episode or season two episode three dropped, and the episode titled "Solitary Clone" this is an episode basically uh, surrounding Crosshair, which you know he is no longer with the Bad Batch, so he's solitary from his his group, and he is working for the Empire. And this is this is just a badass episode for a a, a clone to be good at shooting. You know, most of the, in the movies, the Star Wars movies, they suck at shooting. They they have terrible shots, but the sniper clone made for sniping, like built for this crosshair, 
He's he's a great shot. So this I I really like this episode. It was interesting. Um, we found out he was left for 32 days, and he still wanted to come back to the Empire. And good soldiers follow orders. So that shit just wild. Um, also, another rumor the other day, some casting information. William H. Macy from uh, Shameless has been cast in the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I didn't even realize this movie was still being made. But that image, that like teaser image of, of uh, what's his name? Caesar riding a horse with a eagle landing on his arm. Like that's just a badass image over like a wasteland. So like this is really going to be the Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I think this is going to be a very interesting movie. I was a fan of the other Planet of the Apes so... I wouldn't see why I wouldn't be interested in that myself. Also, some news the other day. James Cameron says, Avatar 2's success proves that people are sick of streaming and want to go back to the cinema again. Hmm. I don't think he's 100% accurate. I think people do want to go to the cinema and people are totally tired of the pandemic bullcrap and, uh, but as far as the streaming goes, like, I like Disney Plus and, and HBO Max and Hulu and all that crap. Like, over at this house, we are a complete streaming household. We got rid of cable. We have YouTube TV for pretty much all the cable channels. And then every other fucking streaming thing has every movie or show that you could possibly want. So if you have Paramount, H, uh, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Hulu, Pe Peacock, like, there's just so many of them. And, and, and I'm pretty sure we have all of them. <laughs> So, I don't know, I, I'm not sick of streaming, so comment below, are you strict, sick of the streaming? Um, but I also am definitely ready to get back to the cinema, and I have been going to the cinema throughout the pandemic for Marvel movies anyway, so I don't know uh, <laughs> about you, I've been pretty isolated anyways, it's pretty much just me, my Legos, and my puppy over here, so... I'm not really necessarily out getting COVID and I work alone, so I'm not necessarily getting COVID from people all that often, but uh, the only chance I, I was willing to risk it for was to go see a Marvel movie in theaters. But I don't know. Maybe he's got a point. Comment below what you guys think. And also last week was the Golden Globes. This one was very interesting. Um, not interesting per se, but there was a lot of nice uh, speeches reward speeches and stuff i don't know comment below do you guys watch the award shows i don't know why I, ever since i was a kid like i've always wanted to see the movies that i liked i always wanted to see the actors in those movies win awards and when they do win awards i wanted to hear what they had to say so i've always been somebody that watched those for some reason i have no idea what got me into it but just hearing what my favorite actors from my favorite films and shows have to say about the characters and winning and just how they are as people, you know, it ends either it makes you like them even more and want to go watch the show again or maybe some of the people like Abbott Elementary, they won a bunch of awards. I haven't seen it, but the show seems great and the actresses and the actors that won awards all seem great, so I don't know, maybe that's the show I'll go watch. Uh, Banshees of Insurin. Um, wow, I can't believe I said that right. Th that Irish movie with Colin Farrell in it, and, um, that one won a bunch of awards. That one won, um, a, a lot of awards. Colin Farrell won. Austin Butler won for Elvis. Good for him. Very sad news. Priscilla, uh, no, not Priscilla Presley. Lisa Marie Presley died the other day. Oh, very sad. Very sad news. She survived by three kids. Very sad stuff. Um, but I went and saw Banshees of Inner Shire, uh, not in the, the theaters, but I saw it on HBO Max after the award show. I heard what they had to say about it, and I was like, damn, really? This movie didn't look that good, but all right. And it's a good movie, but it's a film. Like, it's not like an action movie, and it's not like a show. It's just like a film that you have to sit down and make a contract with yourself that you're sitting down for however long this movie is. I think it's almost two hours. You have to sit down for two hours and watch the entire thing and not look at your phone and just be, you know, dialed in. And, you know, there's funny parts, there's gross parts, there's weird parts, but it's just a story. And it's a it's a fairly good story. And uh, I was into it, so good for them. House of the Dragon won, which was hilarious. Emma Darcy and um, Millie Alcock were shit-faced standing up there like they and the, you could see them they were like house of the dragon and it cuts to them and both of them were like oh i'm not ready oh god 
and they pretty much just went up and like held the <laughs> you know like it's just funny as hell um the biggest one of the night for me that i thought the there was two rrr if you guys haven't seen the movie rrr look it up on netflix it is so good and it is so funny and it's one of the greatest films i've ever seen and it's just like and i saw it not even in english so it's just like just visuals it is awesome some of the craziest like action scenes like and it's not like necessarily realistic but it is so crazy over the top but it entertains you and if you are looking just to like be dumb and high and just sit down and watch a movie rrr highly recommend comment below if you've seen rrr because that movie is so awesome and not enough people know about that movie go check out rrr please they won for best original song at the golden globes and angela bassett i'm gonna wrap this up angela bassett the queen herself Ooh, she fucking kills it um, in Wakanda Forever. And she won for Best Supporting Actress for Wakanda Forever. I would like to see her win the Oscar. But Golden Globes is a good start. You know, good start. We won, a, we won at least something. You know, and it's good to see a Marvel movie winning something. And uh, congrats to all the people that won Golden Globes. And I thought that was a good one. Jared Carmichael. Cam Carmichael. You know, maybe long lost cousin. I know our skin complexion is very similar. Um, <laughs> no, he's black. I am white. But I don't know. Hey, I can be your brother. What up? Um, Jared Carmichael, fucking hilarious. He did a good job hosting. I love that he was just kind of like, the whole time, the everyone in the audience kept talking. So he'd cut back from a commercial and he's like, this is a live show. Everyone sit down. Shut the fuck up. You know, like it was just funny to see him losing it at the crowd because he is, he's not really somebody that's Hollywood, I would per se, you know, like somebody like Will Smith. It's definitely Hollywood, um, a little out of touch per se, where Jared Carmichael is a comedian. He's not really, you know, I, I wouldn't say he's the most Hollywood person, but I thought he was hilarious throughout the night. So, that's it for me. That's episode 22 of Comically Boston, Friday the 13th. Um, throw salt over your shoulder, you know, do what you gotta do to get your good locks in order. I hope none of you have seen a black cat or walked underneath the ladder today. Done some bad shit, you know, cross your hats, pray to God. Do whatever you gotta do to get some good luck today on Friday the 13th. I will see all y'all on Monday for the next episode of Comically Boston. And I'll see you when I see you, y'all. Peace out. Be safe. Be well.